Garp. 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 All right, so we've got episode 1114, One Piece React. I'm Tasha. I'm Mike. We are Billy and Barry. Let's Garp. of Garp. Beloved pupil indeed. <clears throat> Don't worry, Kobe. Garp got your back. Pirate Island has no idea what's coming. <laughs> and neither do we. <laughs> <laughs> There's the pink boot I was talking about. Ah, so it's... With a little blue teddy bear? Is it the Navy Saudi chick? Pew pew. Ooh. Somebody's got the, the Hana Hana no me? Yeah. A flower girl? Or boy? <laughs> Why is my gun cute? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that famous 1960s um, photo where they put the, f the flower in the gun barrel. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's her. It's the, the chick with Helmeppo that was all broken up. Ah. For some reason, they're all enamored with it, too. Yeah. Oh, she's oh. hot for Kobe. <laughs> Notice me, senpai. <laughs> okay, he's the clay guy. Oh. Clay man. Glorp, glorp. Glorp, glorp. Oh, that's why she's been whipping the she's buildings. She's whipping the buildings around. She's been caging them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're all happy back there. Right? They're like, well, I'll just stay and watch this show. Here he comes. Is this where is this where they're gonna like park the ship? <laughs> he he literally did punch the water, like you said. <laughs> he, he Yep, he learned from uh Luffy at Water Seven, I guess. Did that was Luffy that was a garp a that, blast? that was a garp to burst right there. I mean it was. <laughs> that smile just melts her heart. <laughs> now, how's that ship supposed to land, though? Get out of there. You're about to get shipwrecked. Ouch. <laughs> 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 He's having the time of his life doing it already. Right? He's like, retirement's boring. Yeah. Oh, boy. Holy crap. <laughs> what is this? Holy Meteorite fist? Crap. Whoa. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be sorry. <sighs> sure, you just chillin', watching. Dang, the future of the Navy. No. Papa Garp. Get Galaxy. Holy shit! He's gonna what? use Sephiroth's final move. <laughs> Ooh, that island oh. island fruit guy is not gonna like the feeling of this. Oh, oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Everything is just gone. He's an atom bomb. When I said he, I hope he emu'd the island. <clears throat> you got your wish. Emu'd. One punch. That's right. Like every pirate on that island just got a nine 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 above their head. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Jeez, it really is an atom bomb. Oh jeez. He'll land and then catch the ship. <laughs> or he blasted the center out of the island, and so there's gonna be ocean there now. Oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh my gosh. That's why they created a, a landing target because there's going to be an ocean there now. <laughs> <laughs> like half half the crew's going to die. Oh no, they're all still there, I guess. For you, well, stupid. You. He's supposed to soften the blow. Okay. Garp just lets everyone else work out the details. Oh my god. That is, uh, that's quite the entrance. This man's on AARP and just destroyed all of you. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> He's like, I didn't cause enough damage. <laughs> He's like, you're still alive, aren't you? Yo, bestie. <laughs> Yo. I was gonna say a little, little snot. Yep. Can't hold it in. <laughs> you gonna punish him? Oh. Probably enjoy that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, beloved by everyone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who's oh. on? Oh, God. Oh. They thawed Robin. They can thaw her. Just, just don't let her break. Yeah. All right, let's have it out. Why would you go against Garp? What <clears throat> This part we know. Mm. Aokiji lost. Hmm. I mean, I might too. I hate Akainu. I mean, yeah, understandable. But why then become a member of the most evil group yeah, of pirates? Yeah, right, why Blackbeard? Why? Why? Why do you do it? I haven't made that connection yet. Is that town that he totally froze? Some island. Oh, this is when they first met? Ah. Oh, maybe this is like an island Blackbeard's supposed to protect? Yeah, I was gonna say, you shouldn't have to ask. There's only one guy that does right? this. Oh, froze his whole crew. Yep, he'll shatter everybody. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Natural enemy to the Tremor Tremor fruit. Yeah, he knows how to hold him hostage. What? That was a really fast episode. Holy crap. Yeah, that did not. I thought there was That more. felt like two minutes. What? No. <laughs> Dang it. Ah. Oh, that was some insanity <sighs> on Garp's part, though. My God. You called it right, like Sephiroth level yeah, like, attack. Yeah, that was the final, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it didn't take, you know, 14 minutes to execute, but... That's, thank God. Yeah, <laughs> but it was like the the shortened version of that. Yeah. Oh, that was amazing, though. We are just getting treated left and right. First we got Shanks, now we get Garp. Like, ah! All these awesome attacks. I hope the next episode continues this thread with Kuzan and Blackbeard. Cause yeah, I want to know what what happened there. I need to understand why did Kuzan end up with Blackbeard? Yeah. I mean, is it as simple as he just thinks Blackbeard is the best choice or to, just... to destroy the Navy? Because he knows Shanks won't do it. But I mean, like, Kaido or Big Mom would want to do it, probably. I, I don't know. Yeah, I I really don't understand the choice. Yeah. Okay. Getting into some juicy bits about Kuzan. Why the hell would you join Blackbeard? I need to know. Like, sure, be be mad at a Kainu and want to take him down because everybody should want to take him down. That guy's a bastard. But yeah, why would you raise your fist against Garp and his? His well, so far, he hasn't actually attacked Garp himself. No, but he froze. But yeah, I Ibari, mean, Garp and would not be okay with that. He's she's a companion of Garp, so 
why would you do that? Like, I get it, you're with Blackbeard now, but like, why turn your back on everybody, even those who wanted to do good? Mm-hmm. So I still hold the the slight hope that this is somehow some sort of undercover mission where he's in deep cover and and doesn't will do anything to keep Blackbeard thinking that he's on their side, but we'll see. I hope so. I I hope so, because I thought Kuzan was better than this as a person, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like Blackbeard is about anything that Kuzan would have supported, at least as far as I would have thought. Aside from maybe just like the high-end concept of destroy the Navy as it is today. Yeah. But then that leaves Blackbeard and everybody else in yeah. such high power. And it means helping truly despicable people. Yeah. I mean, he was willing to take Robin out if he thought she was bad. Yeah. It was only when he determined she was good that he walked away. Yeah. And it's like he he seemed to have a moral compass that pointed toward good. And... This just does not match that. So, I don't, I don't like that part. But hopefully it tells us what is going on. <laughs> and then Garp. <Okay>. Grandpa Garp. <laughs> he is the strongest grandpa. <laughs> that dude with just hockey was able to basically level... All, well, maybe yeah, he, not all of Pirate Island, but a good portion of Pirate Island. He was like an atomic bomb. <laughs> like, dang, he had his own mushroom cloud. <laughs> uh, man. Yeah. And every time it kept going, I thought that was going to be it. And then there was another, like, part to what was going on. So it just yeah, kept getting just kept more getting and more crazier and crazier. More. <clears throat> I still think it would have been funny if I was right and he had blown a big hole in the in the island and it was just ocean waiting in that little square that he was yeah that they were closing off. But and it might not hurt the island guy because he probably like Pika is somewhere in it and can like yeah he's probably a very small person so, yeah yeah he can um, control it all but probably wouldn't have targeted him yeah so. he's probably up in the skull somewhere or something mm -hmm. or maybe he like, can feel what's going on but he can probably also block off. If it hurts or whatever. Yeah. So. In fact, he may actually be like, you know, islands tend to kind of triangular shape downward. He's probably Sometimes. at like the very bottom, like in the depths. Like, I don't know if he can be there. Well, maybe if he's surrounded by land. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if he's not activating that land with his power. Yeah. Not touching the water. He may just have like a little bunker at the very, very bottom most section of the island. That's he's like just chilling. safe from everybody. Yeah, it would be the best place. Unless somebody knew to look there. But other than that, it would be the best place. Yeah. And Shiryu just standing there with his cigar, just like, well, getting a fireworks show. Well, that's going to be a lot of rebuilding. <laughs> well, no, it's not because the island guy will just be like, bleep. Well, that's true. They might have to rebuild buildings, but the island can repair that. There's probably a little bit of a crater now, that it, and it's filled with clay. <laughs> I just had a funny thought. Huh. Somewhere on this island, Perona was just like, what the <laughs> heck was that? Because, yeah, I'm sure that whole island just earthquake. <laughs> They're dropping bombs out here. I got to get more here. Get out of here. <laughs> I look forward to seeing Perona again, but I'm glad we're going to see more about the Kuzan thing first, because yeah. I, I know that more than... But then then we get to go see Perona again, I hope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Kuzan thing is probably one of the like the biggest question marks I have that like none of our speculation for has ever really satisfied the thought like, oh, yeah, that's probably it. Like, it's it, all yeah, just like this flimsy theory yeah, stuff. That kind just... of, sort of ideas. Nothing yeah. like. So, yeah. I, like, I want to know what the real deal is. Yeah. But. 
Right. Hopefully, Kuzan won't leave Hibari all iced over, or they can get her on the ship and get her thawed like they did to Robin. Or if Garp kicks the crap out of Kuzan, knocks some sense into him, it probably deactivates his fruit. Yeah, a lot of them work that way. Like sugar and all that. Yeah. But. But at least we know that she can be thawed. So. It's not the end of Hibari, even though we just met her. <laughs> well, sort of just met her. She was in a few episodes ago, but, you know. This is, like, the first we've really seen her, like, do anything at all. Outside of cry. Yeah. Let's go get Kobe. Let's uh, go get Kobe. And now we know why she wanted to get Kobe so bad. She got a little crush. <laughs> yep. Notice me, senpai. Kobe makes her heart go pitter-patter. Doki doki. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. With a little blush and everything, like, ooh. Mm -hmm. Figures, though, Kobe's a good guy. Of course, he'd have some admirers. But in true shonen fashion, he will never notice that a girl likes him. Ever. Cause... And Oda has said he's not big on reciprocal romance. <laughs> Well, he said that about the main crew. Yeah. He didn't want the crew to date. But. Get romantically involved. Is there anyone else? I have. Other than people who are dead. <laughs> Haven't really seen anyone who's still alive that's in a romantic relationship. Yeah, mainly just like the parents. Mm hmm. Although, I mean, like Usopp and Kaya, that's clearly a thing that's probably going to happen. I mean, maybe. That's probably the closest thing that, like. That one could go either way. It could be that they end up blossoming to full love for each other. Or it could be an almost brother-sister kind of love. It, it's a little ambiguous as to which way it could go. Because they both obviously care about each other. But I don't know that they've gotten crazy about saying, like, romantically care about each other. No, it's just been... Impl well... I think it's pretty obvious that Usopp's in love with her. And I think Maybe. Kaya loves him too. It just, it's been implied, not necessarily like beaten over the head. Yeah, I, I think it could be brother sister kind of love, not oh, I don't think so. romantic kind of love. I think it's romantic love. I mean, it, I think it could go either way, but. No, nah, I, th I think Usopp's going to get that girl once he becomes a brave warrior of the sea. Well, I can only hope that. With Shanks versus Kid, and now Garp meteor blasting. Yeah. Garp just beehive. landing on the island. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't even fighting anyone. He was just landing on the island, taking care of the riffraff. <laughs> I can only hope we're just getting started with this arc, and it sounds like we are. Yeah. I mean, we, we haven't even gotten to the part where Saturn shows up or Kizaru shows up. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, we don't know what happened to we don't. We don't know what's going on with Bonnie. Or, yeah, we don't know where Bonnie is. We don't know how the Vegapunk and... Um, yeah, that's right. Vegapunk might be about York, to be murdered. Yeah, York thing is going to turn out. There's a lot still going on. Oof. And there's probably I mean? even more that we things. don't even know about yet. What was that? There's probably even more we don't even know about yet. Oh, I am I mean, we're about to find like, out Like, why more. is Blackbeard at yeah. Egghead now? What is what, Blackbeard's big plan here? What's going on with Law? Yeah. How's the Perona thing going to resolve? Mm -hmm. Like, holy crap, there are so many things happening. And all of it is, like, interesting. There's not really anything that's not interesting. Although, actually, I would say if there's one thing that's not interesting to me at the moment, I'm sure mm -hmm. it'll get there, is York and Vegapunk. Oh. It's interesting to me. Mostly this, in that I want to see York get what's coming to her. It's the least interesting thing, though. <laughs> of all the things I just listed, that one's the least interesting to me, as it sits today. Yeah. Not to say that it's not interesting, yeah, it's, but it's, yeah. if you make a tier list, it's the bottom tier. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Because right now, we already know her motivation. Mm-hmm. And we don't know if that motivation is going to get skewed, because she knows that the gov world government wants to kill her. So, maybe that was her motivation, and now it's going to shift to something else, mm -hmm. or who knows. Well, but. no, I think she still thinks that if she pairs the Vegapunks down to just her, that they will make her a Celestial Dragon. Yeah, maybe. But at very least, that one we kind of have a clear-cut motivation for now. Mm -hmm. So, least interesting. 
Yeah. Well. Yeah. But anyway, that was uh, that lived up to all the hype that everybody has been giving us. And uh, I'm not sure there's too much more to say because half the episode was Garp just like winding up his punch. And then, <laughs> oh and no, then he did. didn't wind up. He he just did it. But yeah, yeah I guess it. Oh, was I mean, a long like setting up. up this ship flying, yeah, getting it was a long getting up. the arena set up and all that stuff. I love the fact that he basically did a Garp to burst. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, you called it. He's like, I don't know, what's he gonna do? Like punch the water? He did exactly that with a shock wave. <laughs> yep. Yep. So yeah, maybe he did learn from coup to burst and was like, how do I make that work for me? Hmm. Aha. Yeah, because I mean, punch it. Because all those, you, you know, all that time ago, he watched it and looked up and was like, hmm, not bad. Yeah. Like it probably gave him some ideas. Like, hmm. <laughs> You've been doing it ever since. <laughs> yeah. But that just makes me wonder like, okay, that giant cannonball that he had that time, does he not just like, I still want to know where that came from. And. It wasn't when they took out, took off out of the water. It wasn't here, so I guess maybe they left it behind. He left his giant cannonball at home this time around. But... Well, you know, because I'm it's guessing a bulky they, accessory. They were probably just dragging it around underwater, but I have to imagine that would make sailing near the shore of any island a pain. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so I've always just kind of wondered about that, like anime physics. That's a really gigantic thing, like. You're holding it, and it's probably destroying the mast and stuff of your ship. So, I guess it's just, it's one of those, like, it's like time travel. It's the timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly stuff. You just don't think about it. Just accept it for what it is and just... Anime physics is always the answer. Yeah. <laughs> don't question it. Just suspend all belief. <laughs> Live in the land of believing. Yeah. Well, I hope you've enjoyed us getting our mind blown by uh, Garp's retired power. <laughs> yeah. Collecting social security checks and leveling islands. That's what Garp mm -hmm. does. So Creating pretty... atomic bombs out of his fist. Yeah. And then going to sit in a rocking He's chair. He's Garpenheimer. Garpenheimer. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> Indeed he is. Yep. I but... hope that we get to see more of him fighting soon. Oh, yeah. So, I I want to see more Garb fight. I hope Kuzan Shiryu, uh, what's his name, Vascot or Vasco? Vasco. Vasco shot. Vasco shot, and then whoever Wolf is. I hope all of them come to try to gang up on Garp and get spanked. And, and he he spanks all of them except for Kuzan, who puts up a a decent fight but ultimately loses. Yeah, that would be awesome. That'd be the best. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. We're yeah. closing in on a thousand uh, subscribers, so we're very happy about that. And, yes, um, please subscribe. We love all of our subscribers, and we hope to get so, so many more. And we're pushing for that thousand, pushing hard for it. So hit that button. Smash right. it. Yep. And if you want to see more reactions, we've got some over here, and we've got some funny One Piece, uh, like, pop culture mashup-y stuff over there. And I'm Mike. Tasha. And we are Billy and Barry, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys. See ya.